This is a video response to a video by Concordance called A Challenge to Proponents of Intelligent Design. And in this video, Concordance challenges intelligent design proponents to find a gene that is unambiguously designed. Here's his challenge in his own words. A challenge to proponents of intelligent design. Since the intelligent design movement is dedicated to the search for intentional design of living things, I think it's time to give it a little test. Can anyone out there locate a gene that is unambiguously designed? Here's my challenge. Give me the name of a gene in any animal or plant that you think is designed. No fair cheating, let's stick to sequences found in nature, not transgenics and only organisms we have some sequencing data on. I would prefer human, mouse, rat, dog, cow, mosquito, fruit fly, rice, cress, or fish. I will then test your gene using homology and some other tools for two things, homology and specific or unique function. For the purposes of our test, let's consider homology defined as 20% protein identity over more than 100 amino acids. That's 1 out of 20 amino acids at each position, or 0.05 probability, raised to at least a power of 20 or less than 1 in 1 times 10 raised to the power of 28 chance of being a coincidence. That's a pretty low probability. So before I get deeper into this, I'm curious as to why concordance limits the organisms which we can choose from to animals and plants, given that these only represent a fraction of the total number of taxonomic groups. Having said that, I would like to introduce you to a protein named Vir1. As you can see from this uniprot entry, this protein is 299 amino acids in length and is found in the genus Plasmodium, which, as many of you probably know, is responsible for malaria and belongs to the eukaryotes. Now, what happens when we look for homologs of this protein outside of the genus Plasmodium? Well, let's take a look. When we search for homologs of this protein in all life forms except Plasmodium, Using the basic local alignment search tool, or BLAST, under default conditions, and incidentally BLAST is probably the most widely used algorithm for homology searches, we find that the closest match to VIR1 is a protein in the bacterium Streptococci. So how similar is this protein to VIR1? Well, and here's the interesting thing, when you take both of these protein sequences and align them using Clustal Omega, which is a sequence alignment program, the total amount of sequence identity is 10.972%, or about 11%. This is significantly below Concordance's definition of homology as 20% protein sequence identity, which means that, as far as I can tell, Concordance's challenge has been met because this protein has no known homologs outside of the genus Plasmodium. I'm not going to say anything definite on that until Concordance uh, has responded or something like that, but it seems to me that the challenge has been met. 